In the wake of World Hearing Day, there has been a renewed call for the country to promote an inclusive environment where people with hearing disability can have equal opportunities to thrive. This call was made by the SEAMS Deaf Pro Foundation at the event to commemorate World Hearing Day 2024, themed Spotlighting Excellence, Deaf Arts Showcase and Policy Makers. They say we shouldn't be too much dependent on them. So we are trying to push our own way to make the deaf people, make the world see the deaf people that they can actually do this thing. What we are doing here is something most people do think is not even possible. We are providing support in the sense that they can be economically viable, being able to use, be useful to themselves too in the um, in, in the yeah, society. Yeah, we are still very the hopeful the that the government will reach out to more, us. We are pushing all we can to be able to get to the government. Eniola Ayeni, who represents the General Manager Lagos State Office for Disability Affairs at Denike Oyetunde Lawal, urges everyone to learn sign language to bridge the gap. She speaks alongside policymakers who also call for inclusivity. At the Lagos State Office for Disability Affairs, we understand the importance of communication. Hence, we engage everybody in Lagos State to endeavor to learn sign language through trainings organized for them by the office. I came across the Deaf Can Dance crew. I've been following their work and I've also created opportunities for them to work with choreographers that I work with. And I think when people see that, they will realize that there are actually gaps in the work that they're making or the work that they're platforming and they will encourage uh, the inclusion of artists who have disabilities within their own platforms as well. When you identify something, you, you, you embrace it and know there's something there. If the society can identify with them, it makes it easier to create opportunities, to create platforms. And I believe even in the academics, that opportunity can be to create um, curriculums around the disabilities. I, like I, I said, I don't like to use the word disability. So people that are unique, every one of us are unique. So we can actually have inclusion. When we look at the SDG goal, where inclusion is, inclu is infused. Special educator and sign language interpreter Bayon Leo Olaolua reveals the causes of deafness and how we can prevent it. One of the special young adults also speaks on how she practices. Deafness can be hereditary, right? Like a deaf person can give birth to another deaf person. So another part is um, smoking while being pregnant, accident during um, pregnancy for someone who, who was born hearing and now became deaf. This is one of the major causes. Prolonged labor can also cause it. Sound, noise can cause it. Um, injury in the ear can also cause it. Ear wax, excessive ear wax can make someone lose their eardrum and become deaf. She uses her uh, hearing aids. When she wants to listen to music, she has to listen to the song first to score the song so that it will match the signs. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.